Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from OnlinePhotographyTraining.com and my new website, IamMrPhotographer.com. I wanted to do this short video to talk about a new feature that's been introduced in Lightroom Classic CC. This new feature lets you do just a little bit workspace customization. Now, I always thought it was kind of odd in the Adobe world in that Photoshop, you could really customize the workspace uh, in form and function. You could move stuff around and rearrange it so that it works best for you. Whereas in Lightroom, everything's pretty static. You have the left panel, the right panel, uh, the tabs are where they are. You really could do very little. Well, with the latest version of Lightroom Classic CC, we now could do just a little bit customization to the right panel of the develop module. Now what you could do is go to any of the tabs on the right panel and right click on any of them and you'll notice that this little menu pops up and one of the choices is customize develop panel. So we'll click on that and when you do this dialog box comes up. Now one thing you could do from this dialog box you actually could do in previous versions of Lightroom. We could get rid of any of these tabs we don't want to use. So let's say we never use split toning. We just uncheck that checkbox. We never use the transform. We uncheck check that checkbox, click save, and you'll notice they're now gone. Now you could do that in previous versions of Lightroom. It just was a little different. You right clicked on a tab and unchecked it right from that little menu that came up. Whereas now we have to go through that dialog box. The other thing, the new thing you could do now is you could rearrange these. So what you need to do if you'd like to rearrange the order of these tabs is right click on any of them, go back to that customized develop panel dialog box, and let's bring back split toning, click that and click that. So those will be reappearing. Now you could rearrange them very simply by going where these uh, little three lines are to the left of each of the names of the tabs. And let's say that you do use split toning, but don't use it very often, so you want to move it towards the end. So we'll just drag that to the bottom. Uh, let's say you don't use transform that much. You could drag that uh, down. Let's say that you do lens corrections very early in your workflow. You could move that up. So you could rearrange these any way you like. So I have them rearranged. Now click Save. And what will happen is another dialog box pops up telling you that you're going to have to relaunch Lightroom to get the new order over here. So we're going to click relaunch. So what will happen is it will close down Lightroom and then it will reopen Lightroom. And when Lightroom is reopened, you'll notice that we now have a new order over here on the right. We have the basic tab, then we have lens corrections. Remember I put those up towards the top and I move transform and split toning down towards the bottom. Now if you want to go back to the default uh, locations of these tabs, you probably saw in that dialog box, you could do that there. So we're going to right click on that, go to customize develop panel again, and then just go to default order right here. And then click save. Now it's going to ask you again to relaunch a uh, Lightroom. I'm going to actually relaunch later. So I'm just going to do that. One other thing I just wanted to show you and mention again is that this new feature, as little and slight as it may be, is only available for the right panel of the develop module. There's no other uh, types of uh, modifications or customizations you could do to any of, the, any of the other panels in any of the other modules. So on this left panel, let's say you never use, um, I don't know, snapshots. You could right click on it and this is the old style that used to be available on the right panel. If you never use snapshots, you just uncheck that box and it's gone. You want to bring snapshots back, right click on any of those tabs and click on snapshots and it's reappeared. So I surmise that in future editions of Lightroom Classic CC, they'll start uh, migrating this new feature of rearranging the tabs over to some of the other panels that are in the other modules. But until then, we only can enjoy it in the develop modules right hand panel. So that's it for this video. Real quick, I wanted to show you how to do that. Again, now when I relaunch Lightroom, these will be back to their default positions. Thank you, everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.